大家好，我是 Martin， and this is short stories brought to you by the Taichung Kada Language Center. Today's short story is Swan Lake, which actually is a story that does not come from a book, but it comes from a ballet written by a Russian composer named Pyotr Tchaikovsky in eighteen seventy seven. He was inspired by traditional Russian folk tales to write the ballet, and since then it has become a Russian classic, and they are very proud of it. Well, we are going to read、uh, our simple version of the story today, but before I do that, I will read the vocabulary and vocabulary example sentences. And when we are finished with the story, we will read some listening comprehension questions. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Vocabulary. Royal. Royal. Prince Harry is a member of the royal family. Present. Somebody. With something, present somebody with something. The leader of the country presented the soldier with a medal of bravery. Bride, bride. At the wedding, the bride was wearing a beautiful white dress. Escape, escape. A tiger escaped from its cage at the zoo and started chasing people. Raise. Raise. If you have any questions in class, please raise your hand. Lovely. Lovely. Jeremy thought his girlfriend looked lovely in the moonlight. So romantic. Ma、uh, magic and magician. Magic and magician. I watched the magician pull a rabbit out of his hat. Hmm. You call that a trick? I'd like to see him pull a hat out of a rabbit. Now that would be a trick. Promise. Promise. He made a promise that he would come home on time tonight. Prove. Prove. Daniel asked for one more chance to prove he could succeed. Invite. Invite. Alice invited all of her friends to her birthday party. Joyfully, joyfully, Maria joyfully sings songs with children in *The Sound of Music*. Trick, trick. Everyone knows that Tom enjoys playing tricks on his friends. Realize, realize. Sorry, I didn't realize you were angry at me. Run away, run away. Jack felt hungry shortly after running away from home. Forgive, forgive. Sometimes the person we have to learn to forgive is ourselves. Meanwhile, meanwhile, you can set the table. Meanwhile, I'll start making breakfast. Reply, reply. Learning how to reply to a business email is important. Heaven, heaven. Do you believe that people go to heaven after they die? Okay, that's the vocabulary. Now we'll read the story.
Our tale begins in the royal castle of Prince Siegfried on his 21st birthday. His mother presents him with a new hunting bow. The queen also tells him that he is old enough to marry and he must choose a bride at his birthday ball after a week. However, Siegfried longs to marry for love. To escape his duties and his mother, he rides into the forest with his friends. While they are hunting, they see a flock of swans flying across the sky. Siegfried, out of curiosity, follows the swans and becomes separated from his friends. Eventually, he arrives at the lake where a white swan is bathing. While he is raising his new bow to shoot it, the swan suddenly turns into a lovely young woman wearing white feathers. Siegfried falls in love with her and dances with her by the shores of the lake. He learns that her name is Odette and she is under a terrible spell. The beautiful ones are always under a terrible spell. Odette was a princess, but she and her friends were turned into, a, into swans by Rothbart, an evil magician. They can only change back into humans at night. If they want their spell to be truly broken, one of them must receive an everlasting promise of true love. After hearing Odette's tragic story, Siegfried promises that he will love her forever in order to prove his true love for Odette and to break Rothbart's spell, Siegfried invites her to his birthday ball. He plans to announce her as his bride at the ball and to live happily with her in the castle. With high hopes, he joyfully returns to the castle and waits for the day to come. At the ball, a stranger appears with, a, with the beautiful Odette but it's actually an evil trick. The stranger is the magician Rothbart, and the woman is his daughter, Odile. She has been changed by magic to look like the swan princess to trap Siegfried. Siegfried is fooled by the magic, so he dances with Odile. After he de declares that he will marry her, Rothbart tells Siegfried the truth. The white swan flies past the window, and Siegfried realizes the terrible thing he has done. He runs away with tears in his eyes. <laughs> like that. Odette sadly returns to the lake because Siegfried has broken his promise, and she must remain a swan forever. Siegfried also arrives to tell her Rothbart's evil trick and begs her to forgive him. Meanwhile, Rothbart asks Siegfried to keep his word and marry his daughter. Siegfried replies that Odette is his only true love. Then both he and Odette drown themselves in the lake. Amazingly, the power of their love breaks Rothbart's spell, which causes him to die. <clears throat> the other swans are released from the spell. They change back into women and return to their families. The souls of Siegfried and Odette fly up to heaven together at last. Oh wow, they both die at the end. This really is a Russian story. Okay, well that's the uh, story of an uh, evil magician turning women into birds. This is why I don't trust magicians. Okay, let's do some reading comprehension questions. I will read four questions. You do your best to answer them. Here we go. Number one. How old is Prince Siegfried? A. 16. B. 31. C. 42. D. 21. Do you remember what number birthday party it was? The answer is D, 21. He, it was his 21st birthday party. Question 2. Who turned Odette into a swan? A, 
Siegfried. B. Roy. C. Rothbart. D. Odile. The answer is C. Rothbart. Question 3. How can this spell be broken? A. With a kiss. B. With a counter spell. C. With a swan's feather. D. An everlasting promise of true love. The answer is surprisingly not A. It is D. An everlasting promise of true love. It takes an act of true love uh, to break the spell. And that's more than just a kiss. Question 4. Rothbart tricks Siegfried. But how? How does Rothbart trick Siegfried? A. Rothbart turns Siegfried into a swan. B. Rothbart disguises himself as Odette. C. Rothbart disguises his daughter as Odette. D. Rothbart sells Siegfried a timeshare. Well, the answer is C. Rothbart disguises his daughter as Odette and tricks Mr. Siegfried into proposing to her. Uh, so that's the story. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.